Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 334. Word Origin today is arbiter or arbitrary, and you know, by extension, you can also say arbitrarily, the adverb as well. Okay, so anyone screenshot? Do it right now. Let's get right to it. Uh, all right, so first, arbiter is the noun. Uh, a person or organization chosen that has the official power to try to settle disagreement between two parties or two sides. Okay. Uh, now, the adjective, arbitrary, is slightly different. Uh, if someone says that a particular action, decision, or rule is arbitrary, it means one thinks it is not based on any principles, plans, or systems. Okay, let's continue. The term arbiter comes directly from Latin meaning a judge or a ruler. So originally, that was the point. So arbiter as the noun is kind of a judge as well. Uh, it evolved into arbitraire in French and then arbitrary in Middle English, uh, meaning depending on one's will or pleasure or discretionary, their, their discretion. Thus, it evolved to mean judging from one's wishes as opposed to rules or principles. Therefore, it also picked up the connotation as sometimes being unfair, because maybe somebody just might do it, choose, you know, from their own bias, basically, or they're not really following any plan or system, so they're not doing it that way, so they're just choosing, kind of randomly. All right, let's continue. All right, and we got uh, five uh, examples to show just how it's used. Here's the first one. If there is a 50-50 tie in the Senate on a bill, the vice president becomes the arbiter to be the tie breaker. Yeah, because remember in the U.S., uh, we have 100 senators. We have two for every state. So that's, that's an even number. It is possible you can end up with a 50-50 tie. And in order to break that tie, then the vice president gets the vote. So whatever uh, person is in power, whatever president is, whatever party, they actually have a slight advantage in that way because that is the way most likely the vice president will vote. Let's continue. Uh, number two, she is the person in that fashion magazine who chooses what styles or fashions will be promoted, will be pushed, will be advertised. She is the arbiter of good fashion or taste for that magazine. Yes, sometimes we say somebody's the arbiter of something in this way. All right, uh, number three here, the customs agent at that airport uh, are told to target any particular type of people or not any particular type of people, but to just arbitrarily choose people to be checked. Yeah, sometimes they're worried that, you know, they'll be accused of like racial profiling or something like that. So they don't say that they're specifically looking for any type of race or any type of person in general. Uh, and this way they can say that they, they don't do that. So they say that they choose them kind of randomly or arbitrarily in that sense. All right, number four, that sniper arbitrarily chose which victims he would target. Yeah, well, if it's a crazy sniper, he may not have a specific plan. He might just be shooting whoever he sees that he can aim at. You know, he didn't come there that day thinking, I'm going to get that person, that person, that person. Just who's ever in his view that he could, you know, target with his rifle, that would be, uh, you know, who he would aim at. All right, number five, she doesn't seem to follow any system or specifics and just chooses them on an arbitrary basis. So this is a very in general one. We're not saying exactly what she's choosing here, but sometimes we could say that somebody chooses something on an arbitrary basis. They're not specifically looking for any details of the of making their choice, just whatever they feel like. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.